We're live. Okay. All right. Hey, guys. Hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of uh, the Unfiltered Podcast. Uh, today is uh, July 19th, 2018. I am Jordan. And this is Kristen. <laughs> I don't know. I saw it all. No, no, no. I, I don't know. I don't know yeah. how it just froze here. Um, what's <laughs> happening, everyone? Um, so we made it to episode seven. Episode seven. Episode seven of the Unfiltered Podcast, mm-hmm. where we don't really know where the fuck we're going, but we're just going. Yeah. Uh, so what's happening? Today? Yeah. Uh, nothing much, man. What were we talking about? Before we pour Today's been kind of a slow day for me, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was, I was late this morning at work. No, nah, we were just discussing, yeah, yeah, we were just discussing yeah. our uh, our morning routine yeah. lately. I don't know, I've, been, I've been so tired lately, man. I missed my alarm clock this morning. Mm-hmm. I was late uh, at work. I don't even think I was late. I was a couple of minutes late, but uh, yeah. What are you doing anymore? No, same That's thing. I wake up. I wake up exactly thirty minutes before I have to leave. Yeah. So I wake up out of bed. I do what I need to do. Brush my teeth. Do my hair. Get dressed, and I'm out. Don't have time for breakfast. Uh, don't have time to chill. Yeah, I got. I, I got. I need breakfast too. That's actually, actually, to be honest, because I want to get like ten minutes before work. I leave at seven twenty. So I have uh, twenty minutes to get to work. To the dot. No, no, no. Twenty minutes to get ready from bed okay, okay. to the door. Yeah. Twenty minutes. It takes me. It takes me five minutes to get dressed. So like five minutes, boom, out the door. Yeah, right. Some people they have like all this that those crazy routine where they need to. Uh, and I don't. And I'm not an organized person, so I do not make my lunch the night before. Yeah, I don't I make, not my make my lunch. I don't pick. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. And you know, like where I work, I need to dress up. Yeah. Like I need to dress up it's nice. Just on a, it just goes on a diet. I do not pick uh, yeah. the night before what I want to. What I, sorry, sorry. What I wanna. What I wanna wear. Yeah. So this uh, puts me at a at a very bad disadvantage in the morning trying to figure out what I want to wear because the night before and I snooze. The thing is, I have an alarm clock set up for five each morning. I snooze it every morning. Yeah. And it tells me get up, just do it because <laughs> <laughs> I want to start it in the morning. I want to start still, hitting the gym in the morning. It's so can so make it. Hard. I don't know. But there's people that are able to do it. Like I'm not a morning person at is, all. The reason you'd be able to wake up at five is if you were disciplined enough to put yourself to bed at night. Like what? Look like at I'm the, telling myself I go to bed at ten. I'm watching a Netflix movie. I'm not in bed till midnight. But there's some people that are able to go with minimal uh, amount of sleep. Look at The Rock. The Rock wakes up every friggin' day at like yeah, four or five. five Maybe hours. one day a week he won't wake up that like his cheat meal, his yeah. cheat days. But uh, man, is committed. You need that commitment, or you just need to be a morning person. Maybe it's just is yeah. there something you learn, something you're born with? I don't know. I, there's some girls at my work. I see them. They're 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 there in the morning. They've already ran their their. Uh, Two or three kilometer jog. He took their shower. I don't know how these people. Yeah, but it's usually the people that live far from work. They have to wake up early just yeah. to uh, to make it to work early. Do, do these girls live far? I don't know. I just whenever I go to work, I see a lot of. You just don't talk. Hey, you just you just look exactly. creepy ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I same thing. This this people this people like that. I remember like they by the time I get there, they've been there for like an hour. Yeah. And I start pretty early, so. But yeah, so anything, anyways, uh, about our regular lives, which are uh, pretty boring. What's happening in the uh, in the world today? Uh, what were we talking about uh, earlier? Something with uh... <clears throat> Ray Emery died on Monday. Okay. A lot of things happened this week. No. Ray Emery, did you? Did you? Okay, I know he drowned, Ray but Emery, like, uh, was he under the influence or? Uh... I don't know. I didn't read much about it. I just know he died. In so you want you want to talk about stuff and. Well, I mean, I'm trying to pick something here so we can go. Uh, yeah, we don't need, we don't need. Trump we... and Putin had a meeting. That's the big thing talking right now. But not in Canada necessarily. Uh, no, I mean, the only thing that's pretty interesting is what we've been talking about like many, many times. The uh, McCarthy case? Sorry? The McCarthy case? Yeah. yeah they, they, keep, keep, they keep finding they every, every day. Every day they're finding this stuff. This guy was probably going off for yeah. a very long time. For a very, very long time. Yeah. Creepy, 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 creepy. I don't know. That people now I look at people so differently. Like when I see people in like creepy, about it. These creepy guys vans, can, can creepy hide. vans. He like smart, anyone can be can be what, a serial killer? Can be a serial killer. You have no idea what what goes on in people's houses. Yeah. It's like okay, so there's like there's that there's that I told I, I talked to you about um that guy that got kidnapped. We were talking about this. Yeah, we were talking about a couple couple of days, uh, days or weeks ago, whatever. So this guy in Toronto um, got kidnapped. 
for what? Very okay. organized. I don't know. Uh, so oh, they asked for some ransom. Yeah, they asked. For, there was a ransom. There was yeah, ransom. Yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah, supposedly you got you got kidnapped by some guys that were very very like prolific at kidnapping. Yeah. Say at least like they were very organized. They, they knew what they, they knew what they were doing. Um, it was a setup. Everything was organized to the anyways. Um, yeah, that guy got kidnapped. Uh, they've uh, they've asked for a ransom. The parents have tried to, or the family has tried to give them the ransom. Uh, I believe they they left the money at one point. Yeah, at one at one spot. The money was left there, and nobody ever uh, heard from the guy. We live in a crazy city, man. Because today in Brampton too, you see that five year old. Some five year old got kidnapped from his home. Yeah, and then at left two o'clock in the morning, and left beaten and unconscious. Beaten, like who life the, threatening. Who the fuck does this kind of stupid shit? And somebody somebody else got shot up in the neighborhood not too far from where we live. Twenty-eight-year-old guy. No, he was. Yeah, in his twenties. Twenty-eight-year-old in a rich neighborhood. These are detached homes, mm-hmm. two two-car garage homes, yeah. million-dollar houses, and people are in there shooting themselves up. No, but there's been a spike of shootings. Of shootings, in not just in Brampton, but like overall in the, in the city. GTA? Sometimes you go weekends and like four shootings in like four separate areas. Yeah, like what's going on here? But then we're not allowed to have guns. So then how are people getting guns? Mm-hmm. That's that's the that's the freaking thing about. Well, there's definitely. That's the thing in the U.S. about the the guns, the like gun, advocacy yeah, and yeah, the guns yeah, being exactly. being pro and happening. against guns because yeah. look at all that's happening. People like people are out there with guns ready to shoot other people. Some like, random people who are just downtown Toronto. Man's forty six years old. He's going out on a drink for his business meeting. He sees two other guys arguing, steps up, hey guys, let's, let's take this outside, intervenes, gets shot. Has that happened? Yeah. Like recently? Yeah, recently. Oh, so it's a case? These things happen, man. But look, listen. A guy stepping in, hey guys, take it easy, guy pulls a gun, mm-hmm. shoots it. What the heck? Yeah. Wow. No, but look, look what's crazy. Road like, rage? You're, okay, so listen, you, Schmo, Joe Schmo, yeah. you're a law abiding citizen. You have no idea where the fuck to get a uh, an illegal gun. Yeah. Because you know how hard it is to get a license here. You have to go through so many, uh, so many. Uh, you looking into it? So many, or? No, no, no. But uh, I think I know a couple people who have firearms. I know someone who legally owns yeah. firearms. Yeah. And uh, he said it was very easy, but the way he explains it, it looks like it wasn't easy at all. You need to do some testing. Yeah, you definitely cannot have. No, obviously you don't want anyone to have a gun. But at this point, where people are getting shot up every weekend, you're like. So obviously, someone with a criminal record would not be able to. No, There's somebody a with a criminal record would be easier for him to find a gun. He's a yeah, for him to find a gun, but for him to own a one legally. No, it's yeah, kind of hard. but it's there, it, it looks like it's pretty easy to find a gun illegally. Yeah, everybody here is shooting everybody up. Mm-hmm. There, it's not all the same person doing it. Well, there's black markets in here too. So this is Toronto. Yeah, I mean, in this in this small okay. So what happened? There was a, a lot big, of people migrate to Toronto too because they know it's this kind of. Listen, back you can you can find work here under the table easily. But it's 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 a humongous it's a humongous it's a humongous, city. Humongous, city. It's a humongous yeah. also There's population. There's a black market here. There's listen, a, listen, listen. There was there was, wasn't there like a big bust in Ottawa a couple I don't know more than uh, more than a couple months ago. Or I think it was something with like the uh, some some Hell's Angels or yeah. something like that. Anyways, there yeah. was a big bust like black market a lot of guns a lot of guns anyways a lot of guns were recovered. Yeah. Um, it was a big operation. These guys were selling guns on the on the street illegally, and that was in a small city of like under one million people. Like I think they had a million people. No, okay, okay, one million. The, yeah, one million. million. In the GTA Toronto, isn't there like something like four or five million people? Probably and like that, more than that. Yeah. Possibly, but yeah. it's going up every year. Mm-hmm. And oh, sorry for that, guys. There's uh, there's the yeah, maybe. 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 Uh, but yeah, no, it's just. It's, uh, it's it's not it's not new to Toronto. I'm assuming wasn't there like a shooting in a mall like ten years ago? I think there was a shooting in a mall recently. Oh yeah, yeah. that was not long ago. I think it was Lawrence, in Sheridan Mall. Lawrence Mall. No, Sheridan Mall. Was it oh, Sheridan Mall? Is by my uh, baby mom's house. Hold on, I know this guy. He got. They just walked in and shot him in the head. Yeah, it's like Sheridan Mall. The Google has it. Sheridan a shooting. Yeah. Yeah, 2017. Okay, okay hold on. Sheridan Mall, but I'm talking about Lawrence. They just walked Lawrence in. Shooting? Okay, Lawrence right. Mall shooting. Yeah. Who injured him? January 9th. I think that's the one. The guy just he just walked in. Like, look at this too. A 17 year old kid got caught on the TPC with a firearm. 
So a 17 year old kid, you definitely do not have a permit. So this is, just brings us back right down to what you're talking about. Cool. It's so easy to find a gun in the black market nowadays. Yeah. Like, they just, they, they take out the serial number of the gun, and they just well, sell it like that. We're not going to speculate how they keep the guns, or they make the guns, yeah. or whatever, they get the guns. I'm sure there's uh, there's more than one way. Yeah, so I'm just speaking from where documentaries yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen. I've never actually, <laughs> from, never actually from, from the movies. You went, you went shooting a couple of times. Yeah, right? I went to the shooting, okay. shooting, shooting range. range. Yeah. The shooting range was, you know... That shit makes it. Do you feel. recommend? Do you recommend shooting range for people? Sure. I mean, you gotta try it once. Yeah. You gotta try it once. Like this is powerful. Mm-hmm. This I I understand the the worries. Some people and feel like it should be mandatory to at least have some firearm training with the firearms. Like there's a, case, there's, like a, there's a there's a reason for for weapons. Yeah. Let me let me say that. Um, like imagine you're a man and you have your wife and your kid at home, and uh, you're living out in in the countryside. And you need a weapon to protect yourself. The police, the police is, never, is too far away. The, They're forty-five minutes away. You're in a remote place. Someone could come at any time. You need and most of the time, the police will always be too late. By the time it's happening, yeah. it's too late. By the time you reach the cops, imagine somebody comes in your house. If you're, you're in immediate, armed, if you're in immediate danger, yeah. yeah. But imagine the situation like somebody's armed in your home. The police is not going to automatically come in. They're going to have to stay back. Mm-hmm. Just like those school shootings, the cops didn't even go inside the school well, for ten, have to, fifteen, they, twenty minutes because there's a protocol. Be, but we don't know, the general population is not made aware of this protocol, and we don't like speculate about them, and then we're all outraged. Why, why didn't you guys go in and write about Because there's protocols. But listen, do you know all the, okay, let's, let's speak. At work, do you know all the protocols? I have no idea. You don't know all the protocols. And that's and the thing that just... I think about it too all the time. What if somebody, if some crazy guy at my work has a bad day and brought a gun in the office mm-hmm. start shooting up people. No, but, okay, in your position, you're not supposed to know all the protocols, but, I mean, in your position, I would, like, there's a protocol I for know that, yeah, for sure. Do you know all the protocols? I just know the protocol about fire and uh, <laughs> getting out of the building. But, like, these cops, they have to know a lot. First of all, they have to know a lot of, like, they have to know a lot of lots yeah, yeah. to do the job on a daily basis. Then you need to know all the protocols that are going on. Like, you know, cool shootings are probably, most of the cops are never going to go through one, so mm-hmm. to know the protocols and what to do in a school shooting, yeah, it's 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 it's, it's, it's a difficult job. Yeah, it's serious. But that's why I say it's not a job for everyone. They make it so easy to join the the, the police force. Mm-hmm. It's not for everyone. Like those tests are not hard. Dummies could pass them. Uh, cops is not my uh, yeah. I'm just not gonna go there. No, I mean, <laughs> I respect some of them, but some of them you see all these this nonsense that happens. To you. There's good and bad. That's good and bad, I think. Yeah, those, those, this is scary. But I don't know. Maybe it's uh, it's the what's it called? The glorification. The glorification of, of guns also is yeah. probably like a big reason. Like, yeah. But once upon a time, you were able to carry a gun, no permit, nothing. Everybody carried one. Do you think we'll ever go back to these days? Like, I'm not saying John Wayne days, but. In the U.S., days in or, the U.S., they'll never get rid of their guns. Impossible. But I mean, not there, anytime soon. Do you think there's ever going to be a world where we're all going to be allowed to carry? No, I feel like there's be, there'll be a time where we won't need guns. No? We're moving in that direction. It's going to take maybe not you might as well. What do you mean you'll your generation. People are going to be, we're not going to, be, like, I feel, I feel like there's always going to be We're events. going to, like, I don't know, it's probably too wild to say, but like a more peaceful time. I feel like this is where we're going. Like, not this generation, like, okay, we mentioned Joe Rogan often, but he says, like, we're in our adolescence. Mm-hmm. Like, the thing with the internet, making us closer. Mm-hmm. Uh, making us more unified as one. Like connected? Yeah, like... Like today, I just, it'll bring us back to this. Some guy today got fired from his job because he was protesting with Donald Trump's... Have you seen this? He says like, fuck you, and then says the uh, F word. Oh, so he was day. protesting. And then he got fired from his firefighter uh, 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 wrestling scholarship. He was gonna... He had a wrestling scholarship to go to college. He mm-hmm. said something stupid on while somebody filmed it. Mm-hmm. Nobody else said something but him. He had a he had a he chose a bad moment to say something silly, mm-hmm. and somebody recorded it, yeah. and he lost his scholarship. Okay, now we boost it. We make people yeah. lose everything. Listen, okay. Another thing in, in Toronto, bringing us to the outrage culture we live in. Uh, what's his name? There's uh, maybe there? an MP. Uh, I don't know where he's from, and I can't remember his name. But anyways, he said something mm-hmm. that is. Super outrageous. Yeah, he says that uh, he had to. He went to Jane on um, around Jane and Fitch, Jane and Fitch area, yeah. and if you know Jane and Fitch area in Toronto, 
it's it's not the best area. And he was saying something like he has to walk around with a bulletproof vest right. when he walks around Jane and Finch. Mm -hmm. People now everybody are, everybody's uh, calling him out, yeah. outrage. People are calling for him to resign. Why? Uh, because, I would not want okay, to be here. Okay, because ever. supposedly it's racist. Yeah. Now listen, the guy didn't say, "I'm scared that a black person comes and shoots me." He's, yeah. He just said he's scared that people that somebody shoots him because mm -hmm. it's a bad area. Yeah. And people are calling him racist for that. Mm -hmm. They're freaking saying he didn't mention anyone in particular. He didn't mention anything about race. People, people are being about race, racist. and they're telling him he needs to retire because I mean to resign because he's racist. Is this fucking serious? Yeah. Like, what's the first thing you hear when you when you come to Toronto? That's like, what's the name? It's a bad area. It's a bad area. area. That's the first thing I heard when I first came here. Is like, whatever you do, avoid Jane and Finch. Yeah. But sorry, I was cutting off. What were you saying? I have no idea. But yeah, this is uh, people are like <laughs> no. It's the same thing with that guy. Like, they're asking that guy to resign now. They're asking this guy. Well, this guy yeah, lost. Yeah, I think I lost his wrestling scholarship. Yeah. Yeah. For protesting with uh, with Donald Trump, either for or against. I don't remember. Remember, but I just know it. Nowadays, you'll lose your job. That lady who, who uh, got mad at that girl for selling water. For what? That, that lady uh, who got mad at that People are just. People, people are just. That lawyer who was having a racist moment. Oh, this guy. This guy. Well, this guy. Did, I mean, yo, this yeah, guy. Yeah, some what, guys deserve it. These, I mean, people, these people are that crazy. They're mad at that. They're going to get called out. Yo, yeah. we have a camera mm -hmm. on us. Like, everybody has a camera in their pocket, yeah. ready to put you on the spot. When you see somebody putting a camera in your face, you'll end up on Tosh Point. You, know? you will end. You will go viral. <laughs> yeah. If you're if you if you if you're saying some racist shit, if you're going over over overboard, if um, fucking with a young person, that person will put it on Twitter, on Instagram. That shit will yeah. go viral. Father John's got fired, guys. Like, come on. The guy from Netflix, from Netflix got fired too. Who for saying the N word? And Papa John got the same treatment, man. Yeah. You know that they all getting fired. fired. Now people are not messing around. Mm -hmm. Social justice warriors are out there, man. No, but some people deserve to lose their job. Like, yo, Harvey Weinstein, that motherfucker yeah, deserves to lose his fucking job. He's probably gonna be in life in prison, man. He's a dirtbag. Yeah, they're all catching him. They're all catching him. But nothing's, nothing's staying, nothing is staying hidden. Yeah. But anyways, what I was gonna the say is because people are so mad, people are so racist in that, whatever, racists, mm -hmm. bracket, because they're unhappy. Everybody's unhappy, man. Everybody's on edge. Everybody's on edge. Look, people work. Yo, you, we work a lot of fucking hours. Mm. Oh, oh, Jesus oh, Christ! Scared the living crap out of me. Ah, it's just myself. It's almost done. Yeah. This cannot take more falls like this. Sorry. They cannot take yeah. more falls like this. Yeah, but these these iPhones are made cheap, bro. No, no. It falls on it's anything softer than a marshmallow and it's broken. <laughs> But anyways, <laughs> going back to uh, or to uh, the Toronto, the, the 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 gun thing. Yeah. It's because they make everybody like on Instagram, people take cool pictures with their, with guns, the artistic pictures with guns. Yeah. That's not people. That's. I haven't seen anybody with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see all those rappers smoking a spliff, pants down a little bit, gun just hanging like in a stylish <clears> way. <throat> Me personally, I don't like these things. I don't like those guns and shit. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't like it. You should try to shoot a gun though. Maybe one day. I try to shoot it, but it's a bit expensive. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit expensive. Well, whatever. It was uh, you get ten bullets per gun, mm -hmm. uh, five guns. It's like a hundred twenty dollars. And you do that shit in ten minutes, but you get like a twenty minute session on how to uh, smartly yeah. and uh, correctly use your gun. I don't know. I I wouldn't mind owning one. Huh? I wouldn't mind owning one. Uh, yeah, for protection. For protection. First and foremost. Use it, but, uh, like, okay, let's bring it back to the kid. Somebody walks in my house, tries to take my kid. Mm -hmm. I'll blow your brains out. Wait, that guy never shot him, but that guy would beat the kid. We I don't know, know if it's a guy or a girl. Yeah, he was in court today. No, he did. The 20-year-old guy. They arrested him? Yeah, they arrested the guy who did it. He's been charged with attempting murder. What was he, be less than What was he trying to do? Was just... Was he... Attempted murder. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, but why? I, we don't was he a friend that. of the family? I don't what know. But they said there was no breaking entry. Uh, Brampton? Brampton kid? Yeah. Five year old? Five year old, yeah. Man, yeah. We're, we're, we're learning as we go. Uh, men arrested after disappearance. Yeah. Just kidnap the boy, man. Can you, what, what does it say? Like, this is around our house. Where, where was that? This is around mom's house. Uh, tracks were five year old in Brampton. 
Oh, a 20 year, year old man after yeah. five year old went missing Thursday morning from his home. So somebody went in. But where were the parents? They were sleeping. And it was in a Toronto su suburb. Yeah. Uh, okay, so what does it say? The man was known, so you see, it's always somebody that's, uh, that's the friend of the family. What would a 20 year old. And he was friends with who? The mom? Yeah. He was making the mom? Who? Something, I guess, something to do with, with yeah, love and passion. Is, so. What would you want to do that to, uh, to your little kid? It's depressing, man. I mean, you have a kid. Yeah. I'd have to shoot that guy. Yeah, to do this shit. It's like, how can you not want to do something? Yo, okay. Even if my kid is not dead, I see that guy in court. You gotta, because, okay, so you gotta go through a trial. Trial takes a long time. It's gonna, it's gonna get a long, okay, first of all, it's gonna be a long trial. Mm -hmm. Everything is always long. This guy's gonna plead not guilty. Mm -hmm. uh, he's gonna try to overturn and this and that. Blah, blah. This guy's gonna have to see that family many, many times. That family's gonna have to see that guy many, many times. How do you not wanna jump over the other side and just grab that guy by the neck? Just choke him till uh, life drains out of him. I would pull, uh, Remember those people, uh, law abiding citizens. <laughs> Get arrested and have a, have a, have a, yeah, you know, that movie is too crazy. Okay. But it's like those, this there was a video, not. there was a video on YouTube, I think you've seen it. Which one? It was, uh, two brothers. Mm -hmm. And they faced the guy that killed their mom. Okay. And when the guy walked out, like, they coming jumped. to his side, yeah, they, they just jumped and beat his ass. But they didn't beat his ass good. But they they didn't beat his shot. ass they good because he was shot. so protected, but yeah. they got good shots at him. You can't, you can't not, it's, it's human nature to want to just <clears throat> wreck shit up if someone touches somebody you love. But it's such a weird system too because they, they, they put people to death, you know? And it's, I think if you think about it too, this way it's, civilization is such a weird thing because he murdered your mom or whatever. You are like a family of 10 people, right? He murdered and to think that he's allowed to kill my mom. Yeah, but I mean, like, or, like murder someone else. Or you murder no, 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 whatever. Else. Okay, okay. So, so I imagine you kill someone, and then you go to court, and like you're, there's another thousand people that see you now. Mm -hmm. So like you know, it's like so your case is so that like you want to murder this guy. I don't know how to explain it. Try, 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 try to explain. Like you would want to beat this guy to death, and then he has to go to court, and then his life now depends on other people who don't feel as personally. Try, try, try to try yeah, man, it's just no, 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 try to explain it. No, no I want to, I want to dissect that. No, I don't. Yeah. No, 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 I don't know where I was going with that. Okay, so who's who? Who is as is emotionally charged, the killer or the uh, the, the family? The family. I don't know. They're emotionally charged because they want to kill a guy. Because think about it. I'm like when I whenever I watch like a documentary about somebody who's gonna be put to death. Mm -hmm. But no, okay, listen, not everybody's put it like that guy. Yeah, that yeah. guy will not be put to death. He'll probably. No, no, no. Okay, maximum prison sentence is like 25 years. That guy mm -hmm. has all the chance in the world to reform, as far as you know. Mm -hmm. He's still a piece of fucking shit. But if he's not put to death, what happens? He killed. No, okay, you let's say. You almost murdered my kid. Let's say, let's, say, let's, say, let's, say, let's say he did. Let's say he did kill the kid. Yeah. Now explain your, 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 uh, your thoughts. What you were saying. Now you kill that kid, he's not going to be put to death, he's just going to go to prison. I don't, I don't but he know killed somebody you love. I don't know where I was going with this. Uh, yeah. It's just a very bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, I, I was going somewhere I, that I forgot my train of thought. So I know I that, know. I know that if, if somebody killed somebody I loved, I would, I would do the time. It's just I would want to do the time. I hope. Just as, I, mean, I would be willing to do the time. I'm just trying to like, draw a parallel that like, it's, it's a flawed system. You know what I mean? It gives a chance to everyone. It's yeah, not a flawed okay. system, it's supposed to be yeah, the most fair system. Yeah. Everybody gets a chance to, uh, yeah, I was trying to, to go make it right. that direction, but then towards, I don't know, man, I got lost in my head. Not a lot of people, not, I mean, okay, there must be a lot of people in jail, but not a lot of people spend their whole life in prison. It's not, it's usually not the worst of the worst. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would never want to spend my fucking life in prison. I think it's, but I would, I would, do I would you think gladly. Worse? What do you think was, is worse? You put, be put to death. Because uh, there's people who, no, okay, there's exactly. people who are like, are you for are you for the death penalty or no? It's too hard. That's right? what I've been trying to like draw the parallel. No, because, like, because the how many people that, how many people do do they kill? Do they wrongly kill or they yeah, wrongly, the wrongly death? Yeah, but yeah. I mean like that's what I'm talking about. The, that's why I was trying to get, go towards like 
you want to kill that piece of shit who murdered whoever, and you can't murder him. Like, they'll say, like, uh, you can't reach to him. Like, why is he protecting him? Why are you protecting him? Yeah. Like, I want to beat the shit out of him. And then they tell you, like, no, like, you're at a higher standard. Like, you, we don't, you don't want to turn like, it's morally, him. Morally, like, morally, you don't want to turn it like him. Morally, it makes sense. Morally, it Emotionally, it emotionally make like, sense. I, it's four or five of my siblings, like, beat the shit out of that guy. <laughs> Maybe not kill him. To the brink yeah, of to, death. Yeah, bring it to the brink of death. But like, and then there's the court system. Who, it, Lord forbid, this jail sucks, right? But I mean, like, he's in it. He's in a cuff. He's being protected. You go towards this, then he gets the, the death penalty or not. Mm-hmm. If that way, you go towards that, and then he gets put to death. I'm pretty sure you'll see him die. You'll never feel that. Do you think they feel like, uh, like? Vindicated or like yeah, yeah. once that person put or man, that, 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 that load off your back. I feel like I feel like man, like this is. Or like, you feel avenged? Avenged? I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but like it'd be, I, I would feel like so like yeah, they put him to death, but like I don't, I don't know. How to explain it. I don't know. That's why I say the death penalty is too much. I mean, I'm just not for it. I'm mm-hmm. for it if we can. I feel like it would be worse to be in prison for life. Listen, no? if we could know for sure, for sure, if we could like know for a hundred percent. Yeah, like that person did this. Depending on the crime, like dark crimes where you deserve to be put to that. Mm-hmm. You stealing something. But that's why I, I, let's go back again. Six, seven, eight years for the guy to be for the for the court to be done because sometimes it stretches for that long mm-hmm. unless it's a very fast trial. But like something like Jody Arias, four, five, six, seven, eight years for her to be sentenced. To life in prison, but like you're like fuck, man. Yeah, I want to so, get this over yeah, with. Yeah, but those those are big cases. They're not all like that. Those yeah. are hard cases. It's like uh, Casey Anthony yeah. took forever for her to get a. She didn't get sentenced. She didn't get sentenced because it was so hard. There was so many variables. Dolores, <laughs> Dolores are so fucked up. Yeah, but she's so fucked up that one too. I need to watch the documentary, yeah, but she's no. Twisted. But for people like that, maybe. Or for people in her category, maybe yeah. the death penalty is not bad. Because some people are, it's impossible to, uh, to, to what's it called? Uh, what's the, what's the, what's yeah, the, no, 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 people to, because uh, reform. reform. Some people are impossible to reform. Like pedophiles, impossible to reform. Or it's like, it's something you're, 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 you're born, like you have yeah, that thing in your head. Yeah. It's, it's, it's an illness. I don't want it to be categorized as an, as an illness. You're a piece of shit. Mm-hmm. I want to do shit with kids. Go to prison, you're a danger to society. Well, I think it's a, there's a scientific reason why. Or like, not a, a, like, yeah. okay, I don't know. We're not, 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 not going to get, get in it. But yeah. if you try to classify this as yeah. a sexual yeah. preference, yeah. start shooting up some places. No, I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, uh, it's a crazy world. But anyways, I think that was a good episode. Yeah. I think we'll wrap this up here. Okay, sounds good. Alright, okay, anyways, that's good. Yo, this guy's so creepy. Why? I don't know. Alright, so once again, July 19th, episode 7, Unfiltered Podcast. Peace. Peace.